Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Sony Pro Audio Files. My name is Andy Munitz, National Training Manager for Sony's Professional Solutions Division. And in this short video, we'll be talking about our latest small portable audio recorder, the PCM D100. Now, it should come as no surprise to many that Sony has decided to come out with this amazingly powerful and high quality portable field recorder, as the name Sony actually comes from the Latin word sonus for sound. You see, over the years, we've introduced professional audio recorders that have continuously improved in sound quality, ease of use, size, and value. And the PCM D100 continues in that tradition. So, let's get into it. Although the D100 looks similar to the PCM D50, our second generation memory field recorder, this fourth generation model advances in many respects, but in one most importantly, that of the available recording formats that it supports. Over the years, even though audio recording technology has seen fairly constant technological improvements, almost since the time of Thomas Edison's early wax cylinder recording designs, a few years ago our industry seemed to take a slight detour, and some might argue a step backwards in support of MP3 compressed audio files, due primarily to the obvious benefits of their small size and ease of distribution and the success of that format is undeniable. Certainly though, no one has argued for MP3's archival or mastering sound quality. The PCM D100, however, takes portable field recording to a new level of both sound quality and affordability. As a result of a recent Sony initiative in support of high resolution audio distribution and playback for consumers, we've introduced the professional PCM D100 capable of recording not only in traditional PCM.WAV and MP3 files, but also in high bitrate 192 kHz PCM and the advanced 1-bit DSD direct stream digital format. For those of you not familiar with the direct stream digital format, without going into too much technical detail here, it's different from traditional PCM recording in that it is a 1-bit recording scheme that uses an extremely fast clock rate and actually measures the change from each previous sample. DSD has been thought of by many industry professionals over the last few years as yielding the most analog sounding digital recordings, full of warmth and depth. Offering this capability in a unit of the PCM D100 size and at its price point is an achievement that we at Sony are extremely proud of. With that all said, here are some of the major features and benefits of the new PCM D100. As mentioned earlier, in terms of the formats available, the D100 supports DSD, PCM, and MP3 files. It can record and playback in both multiple bit rates and sampling frequencies up to 24-bit 192K. And when using the DSD mode, the PCM D100 can achieve a frequency response of 20 Hz to 50,000 Hz. Quite incredible. As for the microphones, the other piece of the design equation most responsible for the great sound quality of the unit, they were developed exclusively for the D100. They have a very high frequency response and you can see here how they're adjustable and can be set in two positions. First is the XY position which is a 90 degree angle. This is ideal when close to the sound source and offers a natural stereo image with depth. There is also the wide position, 120 degrees, which is best for recording orchestras, chorus groups, or other performances in larger venues. This position offers realistic, rich sounds with a feeling of broad openness. This mic position can also be useful when recording two-person interviews. In general terms, the built-in microphones of the PCM D100 allow you to record even musical performances quite easily without a complicated microphone setup. And if you'd like to use the D100 for outdoor recording, the high sensitivity built-in microphones will enable you to make easy and high quality recordings there as well. The supplied windscreen can also help to reduce the noise caused by wind or breath. Another feature important to high quality recording has to do with controlling recording levels and preventing overloads. Here the PCM D100 actually does something quite clever while recording in PCM or MP3 modes. Instead of just using a DSP limiter function that might yield artifacts, our engineers came up with a brilliant way of solving this problem. Here's how they did it. 
When this function is enabled, instead of using just a single mic preamp and A to D converter per microphone, the PCM D100 uses two mic pre's and two A to D's for each of the microphones. The second mic pre for each mic is set to record automatically at 12 dB lower than the recording level you've set. Where the normal mic pre and A to D converter feed into the main recording memory, the second mic pre and A to D converter record at 12 dB lower into a temporary recording buffer. But here's the elegant part. If an overload occurs as a result of your normal recording levels, the unit will temporarily crossfade over to the buffer memory and substitute the undistorted recording into your recording stream, and then crossfade back to the normal recording level after the overload. This yields an artifact-free method of limiting, and is quite remarkable in my opinion. Very clever. Now, in terms of the actual recording medium, the PCM-D100 records onto a quite generous internal 32 gigabytes of built-in memory, but also has a slot that accepts additional cards of either SD or memory stick types for adding huge amounts of recording capacity. And if perhaps you're making a long recording or have almost filled up the internal 32 gigs of memory, the D100 has a cross-memory recording function which allows for continuous recording seamlessly over onto an additional memory card as soon as the internal 32 gig built-in memory fills up. So, if you've added an optional 64 gigabyte memory card, you'll have approximately a total of 96 gigs of onboard storage for really long record times, within the limits of your battery life, of course, even when recording in the unit's highest resolution modes. In our opinion, a professional recorder must be able to add both media and batteries to keep going for those demanding applications. One can't just ask a session to stop temporarily so that memory can be transferred over to a hard drive or wait for onboard batteries to be recharged. As you can see, the PCM-D100 has you covered. Now, say that you're waiting to record a very specific sound that might not happen all that often. Well, instead of just burning up your precious file space waiting around in record mode, the PCM-D100 adds a five-second pre-record buffer that allows the unit to capture audio to a continuously filling buffer while in the record pause mode, so that if that sound happens that you wanted to capture, but would have normally missed because you weren't in record mode, you can now release the pause button and be sure that the previous five seconds will have been recorded. This is really great for capturing sound effects or sound bites in a speech, for example. Another new interesting feature is that the D100 will allow dual recording. In other words, you can record in both PCM and MP3 simultaneously. This can be great if you want to make a very high quality PCM recording, but also make a lower bitrate MP3 file that you can send off quickly for review. And I'm sure other applications could take benefit of this feature. As for actual file transfer to and from the unit, you can simply plug the unit into your computer via the supplied USB cable and do a simple drag and drop of your files onto your PC or Mac to do further editing or emailing. And of course, by transferring files to the D100, it can become the perfect tool to use as a portable, high-resolution music player. Another feature usually ignored when looking at a portable recorder has to do with battery life. Making devices smaller with great battery life is something that Sony has been doing for many years, and the PCM-D100 is no exception. Even with its high-resolution PCM and DSD recording modes and great-sounding powerful headphone amp, the unit gets over eight hours of battery life when loaded with four AA batteries. And if you're recording in CD quality, 44.1 linear PCM mode, the unit will go for 12 hours before you need to change the batteries. Now, for playback functionality, there are some very cool features great for musicians and journalists. These include digital pitch and musical key control. For example, if you're trying to learn a particularly difficult passage from another recording, like somebody's blazing fast solo, you can set the unit to slow down the music but maintain the pitch so you can stay in key while you're practicing. And then by simply learning the piece at the slower speed and occasionally boosting the playback rate, you'll be playing along at full speed in no time. And if you're a journalist, you can play back an interview at fast speed for review, but keep the voice pitch in a normal range to enhance intelligibility. 
Alternately, you can tell the unit to maintain the same speed, but actually change the pitch of the played back recording, adjustable in half tone increments from an octave below to an octave above the original recording. One can now sing along in their perfect vocal range or have a band learn a new song in a different key while playing back to the original. Now, before finishing up, let's take a look at the physical unit itself. I personally think that the way any tool feels in your hand says a lot to you as the user, and it gives a constant reminder of its quality. Well, the D100 is no exception. It has a nice, solid feel, and is about the same size as the popular PCM D50. It's easy to carry around, very compact, exceptionally intuitive, and very easy to use right out of the box. The buttons are well laid out. Here's your power button, nice and raised to allow you to physically feel it. You also have a beautiful large backlit display there to help monitor the action and to assist if you have to only occasionally navigate through the PCMD 100's menus. It even has a dedicated button to turn the display backlight on and off. Over to the left here, you can assign frequently used features to the F1 and F2 buttons. This is a huge benefit and time saver. Below them, you have the Home and Option buttons. These really help simplify navigation. And you can adjust the individual channel record levels easily over here. And check out this nice little feature, a volume control guard. As for accessories, each unit comes with a supplied wireless remote control and receiver unit, which is great if you want to mount the unit remotely on a tripod, but still want to have access to its transport control buttons. A carrying case and windscreen are also supplied. And finally, to help you edit your recordings and to put them in that nice finished form, each PCMD100 comes with our latest SoundForge Audio Studio LE software from Sony Creative Software included. Well, that's a brief introduction to our latest audio jewel, the PCMD100. And just to note, we're extremely proud that the D100 has already won major professional audio industry awards and is on its way to becoming accepted as the useful and value-packed audio tool it was designed to be. If you have further questions, please visit sony.com slash proaudio or visit your local Sony professional audio dealer. And thanks for watching.